We are in the midst of covering discrete distributions in this chapter and the discrete distribution that we're considering right now is the Poisson distribution and the context in which we're considering the Poisson distribution is in terms of Poisson processes. Well a continuous distribution namely the exponential distribution which will be introduced a little bit later in the uh, in the course it'll be introduced in the next chapter the exponential distribution is going to sneak in right now and it is a continuous distribution and here is the setting for a Poisson process with rate lambda the times between events are independent and identically distributed with probability density function f of x equals lambda which is the rate e to the minus lambda x on the support x greater than zero and this particular distribution is known as the exponential distribution. Here is an example. Devise an algorithm for generating the event times in a Poisson process with rate lambda. Well you may recall from chapter 3 that in order to generate from a continuous distribution you first of all have to find its cumulative distribution function so we will start there. Capital F of X is the integral from 0 and that's the bottom of the support up to x of f of w dw so this will be lambda e to the minus lambda w dw and when you integrate this you get minus e to the minus lambda w evaluated from 0 up to x and when you plug in 0 you get e to the 0 which is a 1 notice the negatives are going to cancel there and when you plug in x you will get e to the minus lambda x and there it is the cumulative distribution function of an exponential random variable with parameter lambda now in order to generate exponential random variates we take capital F of X and we set it equal to U. So we now want to solve this for X and that will give us a variant generation algorithm. Let's take the natural log of, well first of all let's subtract 1 from both sides and negate and it will give us this and then we will take the natural log of both sides of this equation and finally we will divide by negative lambda and when we do that we will get x is equal to negative 1 over lambda times the natural log of 1 minus u so whenever we want a random variate and remember ra random variate is a realization of a random variable whenever we want a random variate all we have to do is take a random number that's uniformly distributed between 0 and 1 uh, negate it add 1 take a natural log and then divide by negative lambda and that is going to give us an exponential random variate now how does that fit into the notion of a Poisson process if we were to set up an axis and this is a time axis and this begins at time 0 which I'm gonna call t0 but that of course is 0 and then we're going to have events that occur here is the first event in the Poisson process maybe here is the second event the third event the fourth event maybe is out here etc and what we're trying to do is we're trying to generate this using an algorithm and here is how the algorithm will go. First thing we do is we set t0 to 0 and I will do that with a an arrow here in the pseudocode so t0 initially gets set to 0 and then we're going to have a counter which will count the number of events that are being created and we'll set that to 0. Now we have to end everything has to end sometimes and we're going to end this at time s so we're going to say in the while loop here 
while t sub i is less than s, we want to generate uh, event times. And so the first thing we do is we set i equal to i plus 1, increment the counter of events, and then within again I'm indented here within the while loop we're going to generate a uniform 0 1 of course in R that would be done with the R unif function and then what we want to do is we want to set T sub I to T sub I minus 1 and then what we want to do is we want to add an exponential lambda amount because the time between each of these events is exponential lambda and how do we get such a value is we go to the algorithm we just finished deriving which is negative 1 over lambda times the natural log of 1 minus u and that will give us the step until the next event and then at the very end once we're out of that loop we can return the values in our Poisson process which are T1, T2, all the way up to T sub i minus 1. Keep in mind that this last value will jump beyond S and so it does not get returned. If you wanted to implement this in R, on the next page what you'll see is you'll see some R code and this is R code that is used to generate a Poisson process. Now on earlier I did not define lambda so I do that in the first statement here. Lambda is equal to 30 is the first statement. S is equal to 1 which says I'm going to generate values between 0 and 60 minutes and 60 minutes of course is the same as 1 hour so that's where the S equals 1 comes from and then event is equal to r e x p 1 lambda and so what that will do is it will generate a single exponential r of course for random and x for exponential and we set time equal to whatever random exponential was just generated then the next thing that happens is there is a while loop and while that event time is less than our ending time s and our ending time s is 1 we say event is equal to event plus r e x p of 1 lambda same statement is up here but this time we're moving forward in time if the event is less than the ending time s and here is our ending time s then we add that to the the vector time so time was originally just one event and now what we do is we concatenate whatever we had before with the new event that comes up come back and then we print the time values well instead of printing them here what I did instead was I actually put little dots on a time axis and here are those times notice you have the clustering in some positions and that is characteristic of a Poisson process and you also have these long gaps. Is there a way to explain these values that are clustered together? And there is. Turns out that if you look at the exponential distribution and you look at its probability density function that lambda e to the minus lambda x looks just like this and notice the mode or the high point of the exponential is right here at zero which means you <coughs> expect lots of values to be generated in the algorithm here and an occasional value out here so when you get the values that are that are in here you will get short time between events and those correspond to the clustering you will get an occasional event out here and that corresponds to these long gaps that you see from time to time. So that is the implementation and this is the look of a Poisson process which we have generated.